Today I bring you the best legendary farm spot period, I mean how can these get any easier? Well guys they do indeed. This one you can do AFK, like what? Yes stay tuned. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps me out and I do appreciate the support. Also guys every week I am giving away copies of Borderlands to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Also guys. Credit given where credit is due. So massive shout out to Glitching Queen for making this method public. Full credit goes to her and the person who helped her suss this. Her channel can be found linked within the video description. I do suggest you check her out if you don't know of her and show her some love. You will not regret it. Also thanks to my pal for recording me this footage. So big shout out to Big Fawn. Now all these looting farms by the way guys need to be done offline, yes he spawns online but it's like one in a million, you need to do this offline. Now I see many people state he never spawns for you offline, now I don't know what you are doing wrong, just make sure you are not connected to the internet and start Borderlands up from fresh. So quit out of the game completely, make sure it's not running in the background, make sure you are then offline then start the game up. Then head to Eden 6 and a place will be full of lootings. So over the past few days we've seen a few looting exploits which basically allow us to freeze him in place so we can shoot his backpack forever on end, getting literally hundreds of legendaries a minute. Well today this freezing method gets a whole lot better. It started with a grenade called the Quasar, which everyone thought it needed a home in stat. We later found out it doesn't need that home in stat. But the grenade sometimes, when I say sometimes, one in a hundred times, freezes the loot tank in place so you can just shoot his backpack spawning legendaries. This method then got a whole lot easier with Amara also being able to freeze the loot tank. This was done by finding any loot tank upon Eden 6, following them around for a bit until they decide to try and escape by opening up a teleporter in the floor then jumping in. Well when they do that with Amara you simply just have to shoot the tank and then phase grasp him. Doing this also freezes him in place, well it kind of glitches him in the floor and again you are free to shoot him in his backpack. Obviously you don't want to kill him but shoot away and you will spawn hundreds of legendaries. Well today guys we have another method and this one even better as you can farm unlimited legendaries while AFK. Meaning you can put your controller down, watch something, eat something, go play with your pals, do whatever you like. When you return you'll be welcomed by a ton of legendaries and it is as simple as this. So on Flak which is how this is done, head to Eden 6. Go to many of the loot tank locations. At the end of this video guys I will show you a video I posted about two weeks back which showed you 10 plus spawns of where loot tanks can be on Eden 6 so if you're unsure of where they are at the end of the video I'll show you specifics. So yeah find any loot tank, take his health down to a minimal. Then what you need to do is wait for him to hit the floor with his pick to open up that teleporter so he can try and escape. Now when he does this you and Flak you need to use your pet's charge attack and make sure your pet kills the tink. That's why it's best to get this tink's health real low. So holding down your pet's charge attack button, it will put a target above the loot tink's head. Your pet needs to kill the loot tink while he's bowing into the floor and has this target above his head. Doing so and timing correctly you will see the tink seemingly freeze in place, but in actual fact he's dead, but his backpack remains for you to still shoot to earn legendaries. So you can shoot him and his backpack as much as you want without worrying about killing him. If you have an infinite pistol, shoot forever. Now the AFK part works with one specific shield. Any version of the red suit will be fine as long as it has a stat of deals damage per second to nearby enemies. If you have a shield that does this, it's a win-win for you people. All you do is stand next to this tink and it will continuously damage him and spawn legendaries. But because he's already dead, you don't take down his health, so you can do this all day and you'll continuously spawn legendaries. So you can put your controller down, do anything else you want as the game does the work for you. Upon you returning you'll be welcomed by many many legendaries. It's amazing people it really is. So yeah guys this is how you farm legendaries while AFK. Have fun people. Now if you guys are in need of any specific item, weapon, shield, artifact, whatever, my discord has a dedicated trading section for every platform, PC, Xbox and PS4. So you'll be able to come here and trade with other people. My discord is linked within the video description if it does sound helpful for you. Check it out. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next 
one. below as well as multiple other spawning in this very location so when you do go into that loop tink save point farm make sure you keep your eyes peeled in this location too Kill these guys and get that loot, then process to the spot we marked on the map, the original Loot Tink farm. So this Loot Tink has friends in this area, one commonly spawning right next to him. If you are quick enough you will kill him too, also doubling up on that loot just from this area. One also spawns up these stairs too, as you can see on screen now. I just miss him and blow myself up, so don't be a scrub like me. So once you've checked here, head back up on yourself to this kind of waterfall. A loot tink more times than not spawns here too. Kill him and get that loot guys. Now what if I told you three more spawn in this little area? Yes, they indeed do. So from the loot tink save point, Beacon Thingy Bob, follow this path to Heckle and Hide. Two loot tinks also have a chance of spawning right here too, which I have had multiple times. Take them out people. And then there's another one in this area also. So head to this far corner and you'll commonly see one here too. Now these are just the ones I've seen while farming this spot. And these are just the ones I run to every time I load in and out of this area. You can rinse and repeat this process of spawning back from the very start, run the whole route over and over if you want. But I normally just quit out from this spot and start the process from here. As the initial two we first covered in this video, I mean there's so many enemies around them, you find yourselves dying a lot here. But it's up to you if you want to farm them, you can. So quitting out and loading back up into this area means you can look for the seven which commonly spawn in this area. So use this method guys and increase those legendary loot drops as it makes this farm unbelievably more efficient. So yeah guys, if you plan on farming here, use this simple route, find more than five times the normal loot tinks and you'll find and make farming legendaries even more crazy. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you got